a long time ago that it's going to come back to an old days. So you have to learn, learn how to survive. So building a fish wheel is part of survival. Only reason I'm doing it. <laughs> And there was an uh, ongoing thing that we'd like, we'd like to teach our, uh, our kids um, the traditional ways of uh, and the people used to live around here. We have to keep, we try to keep, uh, whenever we get a uh, grant, we try to keep, uh, teach the kids the traditional way that the, uh, the people used to live here, what they used to do, how, how they used to live. And fish, fish wheel building is one, one that, uh, that the people around here use all through these years. Yeah, the, the first thing, first thing you do is to get the material, like the poles, poles for the for the for the frame, and then the log log raft. And the material to build a build a raft on, and then put the put the dippers uh, uh, together on on ground, and put them put them all together, and then build a raft, and then put it on the raft, and then and, and get started. It's easier, I mean, you don't have to get an equipment to push the raft. And if we build it in the water, you know, don't have to have a heavy equipment to move it. And my generation is, my generation is gone. Then our, our language and our way of life will be will be gone with us, you know, we'll have to, we want to teach them, we want to teach the kids how, how it used to be. Important how, how, where do you come from, the identity, I guess, uh, the, for them to learn for how their ancestors and how they used to, how they, how they used to live, how they got about to be, who they are, and I don't know, they, they should learn how to survive in this and keep something happen in this world, unstable world. Then all the fish that are caught will be given away to whoever wants it. Everybody, anybody that wants, anybody in the community wants fish, then they'll give it to. It keeps the, it keeps people together, friendly to each other.